All right, now let's talk about artificial intelligence, and it is transforming every aspect of our lives, including the job market. Will the new technology cost or create hundreds of millions of new jobs? Well, a recent new report from Goldman Sachs estimates that around 300 million jobs may be affected by the rise of artificial intelligence. That means 18% of work globally could be automated. Sounds like a high number. Well, the industries that are estimated to be most impacted are finance and banking, legal services, media and marketing. 7 Action News reporter Sarah Michaels continues our week long look at AI with a look at how artificial intelligence is being used as a tool for some industries. Do you feel like people are just all of a sudden paying more attention to AI like it's been a bit explosive? 100%. And he would know. Based in Detroit, Alex Persky Stern is the CEO of Waymark. At the beginning of this year, the company launched their most advanced artificial intelligence yet. We basically are generating videos with AI, and we especially focus on ads for local businesses. So this is how Waymark works. You simply type in your business name, you put in what kind of message you want your ad to communicate, and within a matter of seconds, we offer dine-in, takeout, catering. You have a commercial. Is that pretty wild that it's able to create a commercial that quickly? Honestly, it still blows my mind how fast everything is moving. Alex tells me because of the intelligence, they're able to provide high quality videos for small local businesses that otherwise could not afford the advertising. Come see us at 6568 Woodward Avenue. Major television companies are already using it. We'll go wherever there's um, there's an audience. Seth Myers and his team at Standard Wonder Group don't use artificial intelligence to create their ads, but they have been using it for years to determine who will be most interested. For years, we've been using it for stuff that people don't see. Targeting ads to make sure when you're online, you see an ad that's the right ad for you. That's all driven by AI. Using AI to do that, how much time does that save you? We could never even do it on our own. A recent report from Goldman Sachs estimates two thirds of jobs in the U.S. are exposed to some degree of AI automation. The top three industries that are expected to be the most impacted are finance and banking, media and marketing and legal services. But as the saying goes, every time a browser tab closes, another one opens, right? The World Economic Forum predicts that although AI will replace 85 million jobs by the year 2025, it will also create 97 million. Top experts predict that just as we're seeing with Waymark and Standard Wonder, AI will make work faster, but human judgment will always be needed. We definitely see that if you use an AI, you can get a lot more really cool stuff done, but Putting a human at the helm and having somebody actually running that and bringing that human creative element brings the most interesting and unique stuff. According to Salesforce research, in 2020, 84% of marketers reported using artificial intelligence. And of that 84%, more than half of them said that they plan to increase their use with AI just like Waymark. The future is here. Reporting in Detroit, I'm Sarah Michaels for 7 Action News. Well, I guess the future is here. If you can make an ad for someone who couldn't afford it before that quickly and they're already doing it. Yeah, and you know, before when we were able to make a website with mm -hmm. just a couple clicks, we thought that was amazing, but this is a different level. Uh, yeah, and it's here to stay, I think. So there you go. Well, our deep dive into AI continues tomorrow with a look at how artificial intelligence is impacting schools. Now, is it a tool for students or just an easy way to cheat? That's tomorrow right here on 7 Action News at 6. A lot of kids are looking at that. All right.